Python is the number one programming language used in the finance and banking industries. It's simple, easy to learn, super powerful, scalable, and comes with batteries, or a huge standard open source libraries. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed, professor and best-selling Udemy instructor. I hold an MBA in finance from the DeGroote School of Business at McMaster University, and I've taught over 100,000 students online from over 160 countries. My background in tech and finance inspired me to design this course. You are probably here because you're already excited about using Python in finance. So listen to this. The average salary for Python programmers in the US is around $116,000 a year. And so not only is Python versatile for finance and banking, but the high demand and low supply for Python developers make it the ideal programming language to learn in 2020. Whatever your industry is, this course gives you everything you need to build finance and banking applications in Python. You will have six completed projects that you can add to your portfolio of projects by the end of the course. To help you learn, I've organized the course into three parts. In the first part, I'll explain the fundamentals of Python programming. We will cover conditional statements, loops, functions, files, NumPy, pandas, and interactive data visualization as well with Plotly, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. In part number two, we will learn how to perform financial analysis in Python. We will cover several key concepts in finance, such as analyzing stocks, risk, and return, performing portfolio optimization, running Monte Carlo simulations, and performing asset allocation. We will also cover key concepts such as Sharpe Ratio, the Efficient Frontier, and the Capital Asset Pricing Model, or CAPM for short. We will also cover trading strategies such as momentum-based and moving average trading strategies. Finally, in part number three of the course, you will find out how to use AI and machine learning models to predict stock prices segment customers and run sentiment analysis on stocks using natural language processing techniques. We have designed this course to be practical. So after introducing any concept, we added several mini challenges and practical exercises along the way. So I would ask you to please pause the video and attempt to solve the mini challenge on your own. Then we will have a detailed video explanation with complete solutions for you. This course is about using Python for finance. Yes, but Python doesn't have to be limited to this industry. Python has been ranked the number one programming language to learn in 2020. Apps like Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify are all built using Python. Enroll in this course and you will learn a fundamental programming language that you can take with you into any industry. There is no prior experience required even if you have never used Python or any programming language in the past, don't worry. We will have a clear video explanation for each of the topics we'll be covering. We will start from the basics and gradually build up your knowledge. Register for lifetime access with 30-day money-back guarantee so you can give a course a try risk-free. Join Python and machine learning for finance on Udemy today, and I look forward to seeing you in class.